Welcome to another Nords Tech Tip. In this video, we'll go over the basics of an error code 11. The 11 error code means that there was an ignition failure. In other words, there was either insufficient gas or lack of spark and the heater could not ignite. Here are the minimum and maximum inlet gas pressures required based on the max BTU input and gas type of the unit. Luckily, you don't need to memorize this chart as the required minimum and maximum gas pressures are listed right on the rating plate of the unit. Now I will show you two troubleshooting steps that account for the majority of error code 11 causes, checking the inlet gas pressure and cleaning the ignition rod assembly. To check the inlet gas pressure, you will need a Phillips screwdriver and a digital gas manometer. The following steps should be performed by a professional as it involves gas and working inside the unit. Start by shutting off the gas valve under the unit, then remove the screw from the inlet test port. Make sure you don't lose this screw. Firmly attach the hose from your manometer by sliding it over the test port. Your manometer may show some pressure, but that's okay. Do not zero it out once attached. Open up the gas valve and now your manometer will show the static gas pressure. That is, the pressure when no gas is being used. Now check the dynamic pressure. That's the gas pressure when gas is being used by opening up a few hot water faucets so the heater attempts to fire. Both the static and dynamic gas pressure should always stay above the minimum requirements of the unit. If either the static or dynamic inlet gas pressure is below the minimum requirements of the unit, verify the gas line size and length are appropriate according to the guidelines in the installation manual. Also make sure the gas meter or gas regulator is large enough to handle the total BTU load of all gas appliances at the home. Additionally, for California installations, check that the earthquake safety shutoff has not been tripped. Next, let's go over cleaning the ignition rod. You will need a Phillips screwdriver and something to clean the ignition rod with. Once again, these steps should be performed by a professional as it involves working inside the unit. Start by removing the screws from the bracket that hold the ignition rod in place and carefully remove it making sure to not damage the gasket. Now that you have the ignition rod removed, clean it with a Scotch-Brite pad, the rough side of a sponge, or a fine grit sandpaper. Once cleaned, put it back in place and connect any wires previously disconnected. Finally, check for ignition by running a hot water faucet and looking through the burner window to verify there's a flame. 